Hi everybody. Today is Wednesday and it's preschool story time today. I'm Miss Lisa from the St. Paris Public Library and we're going to sing some songs and do some stories and have a good time today with our preschool story time. But since I'm by myself, I'm going to take my mask off. When I'm around other people, I wear my mask, but when I'm by myself, I don't have to. So I'm going to take it off and set it right here so I know where it's at. All right, so grab your shaky egg if you have a story time bag or um, your shaky bottle if you made one of those and or you can just shake your hands. All right, here we go. You ready? Stand up. Today I feel like shaking my hands. Hey, how about you? Today I feel like shaking my hands. Hey, how about you? Today I feel like shaking my hands. Hey, what do you say? Hey, hey, what do you say? All right, you ready? We're gonna jump. about animals that have hooves. What kind of animals do you know that have hooves? A goat has hooves. A sheep has hooves. Does a dog have hooves? No, he has paws. A dog has paws, but they have hooves. Hooves are like when their feet are really hard and they make a cloppy sound when they walk. So they don't. Did you know that they're saying that these are, we're going into the dog days of summer. What do you think Ralph has to say about that? Dog days? I love dog days. Dog days, you sit around on the porch and snap at flies and scratch yourself. And... That silly dog, he fell asleep. He's a lazy dog during the dog days of summer. The dog days of summer are when it gets hot out and the wind doesn't blow very much. Our wind streams change coming across the United States, so it's a lot calmer. And we have, sometimes we have storms during that time where it gets really hot and then it storms, it gets really hot and it storms. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, and I like to eat popsicles during the dog days of summer. You're silly, Ralph. I know, but I love dog days of summer. <laughs> I'm glad somebody loves dog days of summer. Ralph is a crazy, he's a crazy dog. But he probably does like dog days because he's lazy too. He likes to lay around a lot. So I'm going to come a little closer. We're going to read our first story for today. Um, this one has a horse in it because a horse has hooves. This book is called The Highway Rat.
The highway rat was a baddie. The highway rat was a beast. He took what he wanted and ate what he took. His life was one long feast. His teeth were sharp and yellow. His manners were rough and rude. The, and the highway rat went riding, 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 riding along the highway and stealing the traveler's food. A rabbit came hopping along the road, then stopped with her paws in the air. For blocking her way was the highway rat, who cried, Who goes there? Give me your pastries and puddings. Give me your chocolate and cake, for I am the rat of the highway. The highway, the highway. Yes, I am the rat of the highway, and whatever I want, I take. I have no cake, the rabbit replied. I just have a bunch of clover. The highway rat gave a scornful look, but he ordered, hand it over. His, this clover's bound to be tasteless. This clover is dull as can be, but I am the rat of the highway, and this clover belongs to me. A squirrel came bounding along the road, then stopped with a shake and a shiver. For reining his horse was the highway rat, who thundered, stand and deliver. Give me your buns and your biscuits. Give me your chocolate eclairs. For I am the rat of the highway, the highway, the highway. Yes, I am the rat of the highway, and the rat thief never shares. I have no buns, the squirrel replied. I just have a sack of nuts. The robber snatched the sack and snarled, I'll have it, not if it's or no... I'll have it, no ifs or buts. These nuts are probably rotten. These nuts are as hard as can be. But I am the rat of the highway, and these nuts belong to me. Some ants came crawling along the road, then stopped with a somersault. For baring his teeth was the highway rat, who bellowed a deafening halt. Give me your sweets and your lollies. Give me your toffees and chews. For I am the rat of the highway, the highway, the highway. Yes, I am the rat of the highway, and nobody dares to refuse. We have no sweets, the ants replied. We just have this nice green leaf. Oh, no, you don't. Not anymore, declared the highway thief. This leaf is nasty and bitter. This leaf is thin as can be. But I am the rat of the highway, and this leaf belongs to me. With never a please or a thank you, the rat carried on in this way. Flies from a spider, milk from a cat. He once stole his own horse's hay. The creatures who traveled the highway grew thinner and thinner and thinner, while the highway rat grew horribly fat from eating up everyone's dinner. A duck came waddling down the road, then stopped with a, how do you do? I see you have nothing, the rat complained. In that case, I'll have to eat you. I doubt if you're terribly juicy. Most likely you're tough as can be. But I am the rat of the highway, the highway, the highway. Yes, I am the rat of the highway. And I fancy a duck for tea. Hang on, quack the duck, for I have a sister with goodies you might prefer. I know that she'd love to meet you, and I'm certain that you'd like, you'd like her. For in her cave, her deep dark cave, right at the top of the hill, are biscuits and buns aplenty, and there you can eat your fill. Lead on, cried the rat, and they took to the road, which seemed it would never end. Onward they rode and upward, bend after bend after bend. At long last they came to a lonely cave, and the duck began to quack. She quacked, good evening, sister, 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 and sister, 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 a voice from the cave called back, came back. Do you have any cakes and chocolates? The highway robber cried. And chocolates, 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 the voice from the cave replied. I'm coming to take them, the rat thief yelled. His greedy eyes grew round. And take them, take them, take them, came back 
the welcome sound. The highway rat leapt off his horse into the cave he strode. The duck took hold of the horse's reins and galloped down the road. Faster and ever faster, following all the bends, the plucky young duck went riding, 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 galloping down the highway back to her hungry friends. Then they shared out of the food from the saddlebags and feasted all night long. Bright were the flames of the bonfire, loud was the music and song. Wild was the moonlight dancing, merry and che with merry the merry the cheer and chat. For now they could live in freedom, safe from the highway rat. And as for the rat in the echoey cave, he shouted and wandered till he found his way out of the darkness, on the other side of the hill. A thinner and grayer and meeker rat, he robs on the road no more, for he landed a job in a cake shop, a cake shop, a cake shop, and they, and they say he still works in the cake shop, sweeping the cake shop floor. So he doesn't have to rob anymore because he got a job working in a cake shop, a cake shop, a cake shop. And there he sweeps the floor. Okay, we're going to sing a song. This is that song, Who Stole the Cookie from the Cookie Jar. We're going to use some animals for that. So we're going to start with the chicken. Okay, here we go. You can sing along if you want to. Who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? Who, me? Could it be? Then who? I think that the horse did it. Uh-oh, where's the horse? Here he is. Who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? Who, me? Could it be? Then who? I think it was the donkey. <laughs> Who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? Here we go. Who, me? Could it be? Then who? I think it was probably the cow. Who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? The cow? You think the cow stole the cookie from the cookie jar? Moo. Who, me? Could it be? Then who? Hmm? I think it was the pig. Who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? Uh-oh, do you think it was the pig? Who stole the cookie from the cookie jar? You. Who, me? You're right. I stole the cookie from the cookie jar, and it was delicious. <laughs> Are you surprised that it was the pig that stole the cookie from the cookie jar? Because I'm not. That's a fun song to sing. Here, well, I'm going to come a little closer. We're going to read another book. And this book is about different kinds of pets. Do you have a pet at your house? We don't. We used to have cats and dogs, but we don't have any pets right now. So this book is called Some Pets. Some pets. Some pets sit. Some pets stay. Some pets fetch. And some pets play. They're playing with a mouse. Some pets slither. Some pets bound. Some pets scurry round and round. I think those are hamsters. That's a guinea pig. Some pets squeal. Some pets squawk. Some pets squeak. And some pets 
talk. Have you ever heard of talking parrot? Some pets peck. Some pets nibble. Some pets drool on their kibble. Ugh. He's a drooly dog. Do you have a drooly dog at your house? I know some people that have a drooly dog. Some pets squeeze. Some pets nuzzle. Some pets lick. Like a cat licking him on top of the head. Some pets cuddle. Oh, can you cuddle a hedgehog? I didn't know you could do that. Whether fluffy, feathered, crawly, cute, silly, strange, scaly, brute, big or small, or a blend. Look at that poodle right there. <laughs> He's got a fluffy thing on his tail. Some pets can be... Look, there's a dog taking a bath in the drink in the water fountain. Some dogs can be... Someone's best friend. They look like they're best friends, don't they? What's that pet? And it names all the different kinds of pets you can have. A squirrel, a rock pigeon, a bulldog, a Great Dane, um, the poodle. There's a corn snake. That's a corn snake right there. Uh, a British short-haired cat, the tuxedo cat, the tabby cat, the Siamese cat, the exotic short-haired cat, the fancy mouse, the chicken, the potbelly pig, a cockatiel, the macaw, the parakeet, an iguana hedgehog, um, let me see what this one is. A golden retriever. I bet you have, some people have golden retrievers at their house. The Chihuahua, the Yorkshire cherry, Terrier, the Pug, the Mutt. That means you don't know what kind of breed it is. It's just an odd breed. The Pomeranian, the Beagle, the Hamster, the Chinchilla, a Pygmy Goat. I think if I was going to get a new pet, that's what I would like to get. A Pygmy Goat kind that dance and prance around. They're pretty awesome. Okay, we're going to sing a song about pets. All right, here we go. I have a pet. Have a pet. He is a dog. He is a dog. And he says woof woof woof. Woof woof. Okay, here we go. You're going to repeat after me. I have a pet. I have a pet. He is a cat, he is a cat, and he says meow, 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 meow. Good job, here we go. I have a pet, I have a pet. It is a mouse, it is a mouse. He says squeak, 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 squeak. I have a pet. I have a pet. It is a bird. It is a bird. It says tweet, 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 tweet. Here we go. I have a fish. Oh, I mean, I have a pet. I have a pet. It is a fish. Your turn. It is a fish. It says globe, 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 globe. Glob, glob. Can you glob, glob like a fish? I have a pet. Your turn. I have a pet. It is a lion. It is a lion. It says, what does a lion say? Rawr, 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 rawr. Rawr, rawr. Here we go. Woof, 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 woof. Meow, 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 meow. Squeak, squeak. Squeak, squeak, tweet, 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 glob, 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 rawr, rawr. <laughs> good job, good job. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to move closer. We're going to read our last story for today. <coughs> Let 
that made me cough. This book is called Horseplay. This is a really funny book. If you like horses, they're pretty funny. <clears throat> One day, while Farmer worked his fields, he cried, for goodness sake, these horses are a worthless bunch. They just can't stay away. And it was true. They snored out loud. They slept the whole day long. Farmer cried, I'm mystified. Something must be wrong. Look at them. They're all laying, sleeping all day in the sunshine. Maybe they've been scared all night. Have wolves been prowling free? I haven't heard them howling, but I'll watch tonight and see. He spied from behind, back behind the hay, and what he saw was pure horse play. So he thought the wolves were keeping the horses awake at night, but really they were just playing. Those horses didn't sleep one bit. They frolicked on the loose. They joined in games like hide and seek, leapfrog, and duck duck goose. Donkey tried to play along but soon began to wail when all the horses gathered round to play some pin the tail. You get it? Pin the tail on the donkey. <laughs> Farmer shouted, I declare, you horses have no sense. He shooed them back into the barn and then padlocked their fence. I'm the boss and what I say is absolutely no horse play. Come, but come next day, the horses dozed. They didn't work at all, Farmer said. Now what on earth? I bolted shut their stall. That night when Farmer locked them up, he didn't go to sleep. He snuck into the barn to spy and hid out with the sheep. See him hiding inside the, in a circle of sheep. <laughs> the horses shuffled decks of cards and passed out poker chips. They handed out some veggie trays and seven layer dip. So this is why you snooze all day. I thought I told you no horse play. He tied them up in separate pens. This silliness is done. Now go to bed, the farmer said, and no more having fun. You think it's going to work? But still, those horses didn't work. They acted just as lazy, farmer shouted. There's no doubt. You're going to drive me crazy. Look at them. They're all sleeping in the field. They must have been up all night again. He hid out with the hens that night. You see him up in the hayloft right there. And watched as down below, his horses rode out silly notes and tossed them to and fro. And so, farmer stomped, farmer stormed, farmer yelled, that's it. Farmer ranted, farmer raved, farmer threw a fit. Farmer fussed, farmer fumed, farmer said, okay, you really want a horse around? Go on, make my day. Farmer guarded, farmer glared, he stayed until first light, and not one horse would dare to play. They had to sleep all night. Farmer shouted, hip, hip, hooray, I've put an end to all horse play. The horses felt like colts again. They walked with heads held high, but Farmer's eyes were strangely red. He sighed a sleepy sigh. Farmer slumped down in the grass. Oh, I think I'll rest a spell. I didn't sleep a wink last night and I don't feel too well. He's tired because he, he stayed up all night while the horses slept. Before too long, poor farmer snored, and while he slept all day, his horses took off their bridles, took the, his horses took their bridles off and crept away to guess what the horses are gonna do? Play, play, play. They're playing basketball and they're playing chess. They're playing <laughs> horseshoes. Get it? They're tossing horseshoes. And they're playing jump rope and they're playing ball. So while the farmer slept all day, they got up and played. So he didn't have to sleep at nighttime. They didn't have to play at night. They played during the day once the farmer fell asleep. Okay, that's story time for today. I hope you had a good time. So put one hand way up high. Wave goodbye, it's time to go. Wave up high and wave down low. 
Wave real fast. Uh, and wave real slow. Wave goodbye, it's time to go. Wave up high, wave down low. Wave goodbye, I'll miss you so. Mm. Have a good day today and be good listeners. And listen, if you don't watch um, on Thursdays, I post a STEM activity for kids and adults, whoever wants to do it. Um, about one o'clock it posts on Facebook. So if you haven't um, watched a, the STEM activity, um, you might wanna do that too. So I'll, I'll see you next week. Bye.